Hi, my name is Adam Waraxa uh, with Octane on the Geomagic team, and I'm here at Online Resources. We've been uh, playing with a bunch of scanners all day, um, doing a couple things with some, with some new stuff that came in, and there was a couple things we were doing in Design X here, and I just wanted to show you guys like a quick tip of uh, some mesh processing stuff. So um, often we're, we're looking at these, and these are, these are chopped out pieces of mesh from a, uh, a cylinder head scan that we did. And you guys often run into when we're trying to fill some of these holes, like if we're trying to fill these in to surface this out, um, we have some weird shaped holes. Um, some of these are okay, but some of them are also over like overlapping geometry. And then you end up with stuff like this where it has things like cutting out of the surface. So like we granted, we can get a paintbrush and come back in here and like highlight this out. So I can come in and, um, you know, use something like view clip here to like clip off the top of this. So I do like inside box here and, you know, clip this down so I can see what I'm doing on this port here. And I could always like highlight in here and just like hope it does a nice thing. I mean, you'll notice on a lot of scan data though, you're gonna have like jagged edges on the hole. So, you know, that's gonna affect fill quality sometimes um, if I just chop that out and hit fill holes. So one of the things that I like to do is come into 3D sketch and actually do like a spline sketch around what I want to clean up. So I'll come in and do a spline around the data. And then what I could do is use this spline with the trim tool to slice all the triangles and create a boundary of what's there. Um, I like to use like a single spline arc, so I'm actually gonna go with that and do this again here. So I was a little not clicking enough on my edges and I made too sharp of a corner here. So, um, <coughs> yeah, so we'll make a nice even, nice even spline curve. They are touching, good. So we'll come in then once we do that, and this is a 3D curve on a mesh. You'll see there's, there was a lot of nodes on there when we highlighted it, okay? This is we also use for creating like patch boundaries and stuff like that, but we're gonna come in here, polygons now, and then I'm gonna come to the trim tool. And of course we could have always did by like custom path and like curved around it and did some stuff, but what I like doing, um, that's just gonna cut back the triangles again. So it's kind of just like using, it's a fancier way of using like a paintbrush. If I do by curve here and say like split folly faces or reorganize, um, I can come along, get this curve. And next, what it's actually gonna do is like give me a nice pattern on all that stuff. I'm gonna say, what do I wanna keep? Okay, and I like to go and just like highlight over this and we'll hit like out of region here. Okay, we'll see. We can't obviously blue on blue is hard to see, but we can see we're keeping the outside. And it's gonna split cleanly along that trim path. So now I have a really, really clean edge. And if we go in and look at triangle edges here, <coughs> we can see that we like cut along all of them and have a nice clean edge. So now we go into hole fill. Um, we already have a nice smooth boundary. So we're gonna have a nice smooth fill, really nice tangency. It's gonna give us a really clean, um, a really clean fill. So it's gonna seem like the hole was never there to begin with, but great way to patch stuff up. Um, does take a couple extra steps rather than just highlighting triangles out, but because of the cleaner boundaries, you're going to have a nicer fill with better curvature. Um, so that's it. It's me, Adam, Online Resources. A little quick tip. Uh, check us out at onlineresourcesinc.com uh, for all of your scanning and reverse engineering needs. And uh, check us out at Geomagic at Octon. Cheers.